Hey friend, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dahlia Orth. I'm a system strategist and a HoneyBook Pro, and I love helping business owners create efficient, effective, easy, and streamlined systems in their business so they can gain back time and freedom. So if you're new here, make sure you hit subscribe first so you never miss when a new video is releasing. Um, and in this video, I want to talk all about HoneyBook Smart Files. So HoneyBook, um, it's the newest feature that has come out. It's a hot topic right now, and I want to dive in together on HoneyBook Smart Files and how to get started with them. HoneyBook Smart Files, what are they? How do they work? Um, you know, how do I get started with them? All of those questions I have been asked. And HoneyBook Smart Files essentially is a new way to do a multiple steps within um, one file itself. So for example, you can do your pricing guide, a questionnaire, um, and an invoice and a contract all in one file now if you want. So a lot of people were saying, I would love to have a way for people to come in, choose what package they want, sign their contract, pay their invoice, and then be done. And there wasn't a way to do that in HoneyBook for the longest time, but now there is. And so I'm going to give you a brief tutorial behind the scenes on how to actually start using smart files in your own business and what things you can do within smart files currently and what things you can't and even how to start getting them within, built in, within your workflows. So we're going to dive in. And of course, any questions, leave a comment below. And I'd love to hear too, like, have you started with smart files? And what have you enjoyed about smart files? If you started working with them, um, tell me all of that below. And of course, like I said, any questions, uh, leave a comment and be sure to take advantage of the free resources as well, especially if you haven't started with HoneyBook yet and want to. So stay tuned. Okay, so let's take a peek at smart files. So smart files, you can get started with them by just starting to build, you know, create new smart file options right here. But I would really encourage you to start taking advantage of the template gallery. There are a ton of options in here based on what you need. So let's say you're like, I could really use help with my pricing guide and my services, right? So you can see that it narrows it down to 22 of 77 templates. So then you can take a peek and you can look at different templates that other people have already built and have contributed to the Smart Files template within HoneyBook. So let's say you're a wedding photographer or a planner um, and you want to have a nicely designed pricing guide in here. So before you actually start using this, you can actually look through and see what does this look like. And you can click on this button here. You can look through like, OK, this this looks like it would be a good fit for my own business. You have some testimonials in there, some stories. And then you can look at the different service options. So you can actually like select those within the smart file themselves. And then, the you know, let's getting started. What does that look like? So if you decide like I want to use this template, you're like, yeah, this is good. This is great. I'm excited about this. We're going to click edit this template and, and we're going to start editing this for our own business. So you can rename um, this up here. So let's say you just want to call it pricing guide, right? And then from here, if you click on this little, um, this little painter box, like this little painter logo, you want to apply your custom, your company theme. So because mine's already done, you can see that it switched everything over, which is why it's really important to make sure you apply, like you put your custom or your company settings into HoneyBook on the front end because it's super easy to then just click save and have everything um, as much as it can customized behind the scenes for you. So like the buttons customized, no problem. And then really it's just plug and play. So I'm going to plug in my own logo here. I'm going to make the padding small. I'm going to change out the, I'm going to change out my colors here. So I'm going to click that and I probably will change it to that color. I'll change this to that color and maybe I'll change out this, you know, that photo right there and I can stretch the photo out. I can make it smaller. You can also come in and just like stretch it out like that if you want. I would change my copy, of course, and then just start plugging and playing around. Let's say you're like, I don't actually want this, this section right here. You can just delete that. So you just delete it right here. You can put in logos of where you've been featured in. And then you can also switch things out. So you can call this like a welcome page right here. And you can say like, you know, what we're about maybe instead. So you can change everything in it around. It's very customizable. You want to make sure you update your template too periodically along the way so you don't lose anything. But then if you want to add another page, let's say you wanted to add your contract in here. So we're going to click start from blank. And I'm going to say I want to add my contract. And then, of course, because I have my contracts already in here, 
I want to make sure, you know, if I click HoneyBook services on this, that I add the contract right from this so that my HoneyBook services contract is in there and ready to go now. And I can just rename this my contract page. And then I can just move this up. So let's say I want to move it under the services tab right there. And then, of course, let's say you're like, I want to add another page. and I want to add a way for people to send it, like to pay their invoice in here, right? So I'm going to actually start from blank so you can see the difference between the two. So if I were to start from blank with the standard invoice, it would look like this. I like to add my logo in above. So I'm going to click that here. And then I would just have my, my invoice down here. Now you can see that it says service selection from page four. So whatever services I pick, they're actually going to auto populate within my invoice right here. And then I already have my payment schedule set up, but I can always adjust it too if I want behind the scenes. A lot of times I like to use the custom date as my option. So uh, you can also have milestone dates or you can have smart dates. So one month after this invoice has been sent, the other 50% is due. So whatever that works for your own business. And then I'm going to call this the invoice. And then of course, we have the payment page as well. So we're going to have the payment page. And it says to be determined because it's based on whatever selection I made. So if I were to click on preview here and I went back to the services page and I clicked on this one right here, if I went to, let's see, my invoice page now, you can see that that is auto-populated in there, no problem. So it's auto-populated. I have my payment schedule in there. And if I clicked on the next page, then I would be able to make my payment right there. So this is how you start to really streamline the work of smart files behind the scenes because you can add these different pages in to then eliminate extra steps for your clients and extra steps for you as the business owner. So that's how to get started within uh, smart files. And a lot of this comes with just playing around with it behind the scenes and not being afraid to like, you know, get in there, start to customize some things for your own business and start building out the smart file for yourself. Now, you can also start with a much more simpler smart file, like a questionnaire or an invoice template alone or a contract alone if you want. But if you wanted to build like a guide, now you have like a, just a very brief tutorial on how to do that. So of course, any questions, leave a comment. And I'd love to hear too, like, have you gotten started with smart files? And if so, how have you enjoyed your experience so far with them?